The project is a kind of biomedical engineering challenge. It's a design build project and it's interesting because there are artists working on it. They're coming at it from a different perspective than uh, people who are embedded in the research or in, in the idea of making medical instruments. The children we work with have brain injuries in the NICU. They're often the result of either stroke or brain bleeds, most of them due to prematurity or the way they were born. And the consequences of those brain bleeds are lasting and often result in cerebral palsy. What conventional therapy has tried to do is try to fix the experience of movement. However, you can see in this diagram that the biggest problem there is that they're actually not fixing the sensory input. We've been working with Natalie and Elena as kind of the clients. Basically, they're working with uh, children who have cerebral palsy, doing this treatment where they're putting their good arm in a cast and, and then doing these activities with the other arm. Then to evaluate it, they're doing some other kind of evaluation, but also the, the other half of it is the this, this part of the project, which is um, kind of a simulation of touch on a part of the hand and then using this uh, hairnet of electrodes to, to detect the response to it. Our objective was to create a device for 12 to 36 month olds that delivers a precise and consistent puff of air to the hand in order to simulate touch. And the stipulations that were given to us by Natalie and Elena were that it had to fit a 12 to 36 month old that the nozzle distance that was delivering the puff of air had to be constant from the skin on all of the testing, that the arm should be mobile, that it would be cleanable um, with the super sandy wipes and wa or washable, uh, that it would be replicable, and that it would be child-friendly. We started with some things that we found that may work. We tried to find things that were all sorts, like things that actually attach to arms, things that they just grip, things that they could put their fingers between, and things that just held them in place. We started taking a few different approaches to how to create a device that's going to fit on this hand. We did some hand grip molds where we had some of the children just squeeze a piece of clay to see how their fingers would wrap around it. We did um, some moldable plastic that you heat up and then push onto a piece of uh, plaster or a hand. At that point, we started 3D modeling these ideas and different variations of them. Eventually, we came to something about this shape. It looks kind of odd, but um, it fits directly onto the palm. It is open on the side, so it allows like a slightly larger hand for the older children. And this wraps down around the wrist and kind of locks it in place. And from there, we started developing different strapping attachments. Came up with this quick prototype of a, a neoprene strap that is pretty basic design. The thumb, and then these two, one straps over the top between the thumb and the forefinger, and one straps below around the wrist. That design is adaptable to pretty much any size hand. Using neoprene stretches, it's, it has a lot of give, so you can adapt it to different.